In this video, we will install XFC graphical user interface or desktop on a remote Ubuntu VPS. Let's log into the VPS using SSH. Take the terminal. This is the IP address of the VPS. To connect to the VPS, type SSH root at the right IP address. It will ask for the password. Enter the password. We are now logged into the VPS. First, we need to run the command apt install xfc4 xfc4 goodies copy the command paste it in the terminal this will install the xfc desktop environment it will take some time because we have to download lot of software now you have to select the default display manager you can select any of these two i will select light dm the installation is now almost completed. Next, we need to install tight VNC server and auto cut cell. Copy the command, paste in the terminal. After that, we have to create a user. We will be using this user to log into desktop. The command is user add minus m minus s bin bash. Then you have to enter a username. I will use desktop for the user. Then we have to make this user a sudo user. For that run the command user mode minus small a capital G then sudo. After that we have to enter the username. Our username is desktop. Desktop. Next let us set a password for this new user. PASSWD desktop okay we have set the password next we need to login as the user for that the command is su hyphen username su hyphen desktop now we need to run the command vnc passwd this will ask you to set a password for vnc it is asking if you want to set a view only password. I don't want any view only password now. So enter n for no. Next edit the file dot vnc slash x startup. Copy and paste this content. Exit the vim editor for that press escape. Then colon w q. Make this file executable with the command chmod755. At this point, you can start VNC server with the command VNC server. Now the VNC server is started. This is the VNC address. To connect to the VNC server, take VNC client. In Ubuntu, it is Remina. Add a new connection. My remote Ubuntu server. Under the protocol, select VNC plugin. Here you have to enter the IP address, server address. That is the IP address and the colon 1, the port. For the color depth, you can select any of these. More colors will slow the connection. Same for the quality. Poor is fast and medium will be slower and the best will be the slowest. I will select medium. We can save the connection. Here you can see the connection. To connect to the server, double click on the connection. It will ask for the password. Enter the password. Let's make it bigger. This is our remote XFC desktop. We have terminal and a file manager. This is the browser. Click fail to execute default browser. This is because we don't have any browser installed. Let's install Firefox and go to the terminal and type sudo apt install firefox it will ask for the password this is a password for the user desktop not the vnc password do you want to continue type y and press enter we have firefox installed now to start the firefox you can click on the browser icon we can install Google Chrome also. For that, search for Google Chrome. Download now. Click on Download Chrome. 64-bit .deb. 
for Debian or Ubuntu. Accept and install. You can see the download progress here. The download is completed. Let's go to the file manager downloads. You can see the deb file. To install, go to the terminal. Change to download directory cd downloads ls minus l will list all the files in the directory. We have the Google Chrome deb file. To install the deb file, use the command sudo dpkg minus i name of the deb file press enter. It will ask a password for the user desktop. Enter the password. There is erase while processing. sudo apt install minus f. This will install required dependencies. Press y. Now Google, now Google Chrome is installed. You can find it under applications, internet, Google Chrome. It is asking to set a password for the keyring. Click on continue. We have Google Chrome installed. Currently we have manually started the VNC server. Next we will set up auto start for VNC server. Let's go back to the instruction. Here we have started the VNC server manually. To stop the VNC server you can use the command VNC server minus kill colon 1. Now the VNC process is killed. Let us go back to the root user. Exit. Now we are user root. Who am I? We are user root. Let's go back to the instruction. Here is the instruction for auto starting the VNC server. First of all, we need to create this file. Copy the command. Paste in the terminal. Inside, you, you need to add this content. In the above, replace username with the actual username you created above. We created user desktop. On this, you have to replace user with the desktop. Desktop. This is the username we created. Here is another and this one. Copy it. Go to insert mode by pressing I. Right click and paste. Now escape to exit out of insert mode. To save and exit, press escape then colon WQ. Now we need to enable the service. For that use the command systemctl enable VNC server at the right one. After that we can start the VNC server. Remove enable and add start. Now let's try connecting to the VNC server again. Let's start the web browser. It is asking for the key ring password. If you are using Windows, you can use any VNC client for Windows to connect to the remote server. You can search VNC client Windows. That will show various VNC clients for Windows. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.